going on outside of KFC. We're going to go inside and check out the uh, most interesting uh, cash registers in State College. Come with me. Is this for here to go? This is for here. I'd like two of the honey barbecue snackers and a medium Dr. Pepper. Two buffalo snack barbecue snackers. Yes. And what else did you say? A medium drink. Medium drink. Is there anything else you'd like? That's it. There is a deal. Listen for it. You got a deal. Your order is three sixty-eight. Make it five dollars and get a large coleslaw or popcorn chicken. Which would you like? I'll take the small popcorn chicken. All right. That will make it five dollars. Anything else? That's it. All right. Five dollars. And your order is one twenty-eight. Thank you. I'm back in the office after our trip to uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken. Receipt in hand. Uh, what you can see here is that uh, I bought two of the barbecue snackers. Each of those cost uh, 99 cents. I got a medium drink, $1.49. And then I got the uh, special small popcorn for $1.25, which turned out to be a savings of about 38% when it was all said and done, including the uh, tax that was saved. And that's what I want to point out here, is why would any company, um, after you've already ordered, offer you a, a deal? It has to do with diminishing margin utility. Here's what they know. They know that once you've ordered, you've already found the items on the menu that are most attractive to you, the best um, utility per price combination. Um, but they still want to make more money off of you, and their cost of producing uh, many of the goods that they sell are actually very low. So when they spin the wheel and it comes up coleslaw or small popcorn uh, chicken, uh, the customer has the opportunity to choose again at a discount. Why at a discount? Because it's the only way you're going to buy more because you're going to fill up on what you've already bought. So any extra food that you might get isn't going to be as valuable to you. Uh, and the company is able to uh, squeeze a few extra pennies or dimes out of the uh, process here. Um, my popcorn uh, chicken was $1.25. Their cost of uh, actually providing the popcorn chicken must be less than that. Um, so they're happy to pass along uh, the discount to get me to buy more. Very ingenious strategy. Um, and uh, sometimes I buy more at Kentucky Fried Chicken, sometimes I don't. Sometimes they spin the wheel and two things will come up that I have no interest in. So for instance, the, the coleslaw, no, I, I mean, that was 44% off. That was a better deal but I wasn't interested in having the coleslaw. And if something else had come up that I didn't want, I would have just said thanks but no thanks and spent less. Um, so very ingenious, uh, interesting way of thinking about how this works. All goes back to utility theory, which we've talked about. And I hope this has been helpful in, in helping you understand this concept. Take care.